you want to feel like you have achieved something in life right so i used to take all these challenges and use that as an opportunity to motivate myself and say like okay i can move on i, I really love challenges is a bit scary but it's worth it Hi there, my name is Sudhir and I work as an Azure Developer Product Marketing Manager with Microsoft New Zealand and I've been working with Microsoft for the past 13 years uh, on different technologies and different roles. Uh, in New Zealand, uh, my role is to look after the developer ecosystem and help developers to uh, unblock their journey onto the Azure. Now, I welcome all of you on to today's session. Now, in this series, uh, we're going to celebrate the diversity and inclusion in the tech industry. And in this particular episode, we are pleased to have with us Leela and Anupama. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining us. Uh, now, I would like uh, Anupama and Leela to introduce themselves. So I'll start with uh, Anupama. Thanks, Sudhir. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Anupama Natarajan. I'm, uh, I'm basically from Wellington, New Zealand. I live here. And uh, I'm a Microsoft MVP and a Microsoft Certified Trainer. I have around 20 plus years of experience working in the IT industry. And I thoroughly enjoy day in and day out working in IT, trying to solve uh, the problems for my customers. Thank you so much, Anupama. And I would like now to introduce uh, Leila to come on board and introduce yourself. Uh, thanks so much, Sadeh. I'm Leila. I'm a Microsoft AI and Data Platform MVP based in Auckland, and I'm really enjoying working with the AI and Power Platform and Azure. Here, I do the consulting and training in this area, and of course, uh, organizing organizing some events over here. Cool, awesome. Thank you so much, Leila. And one thing is common in between us is data and AI. So whenever we meet, we talk about data and AI, what's happening in the industry, what are the challenges. So it's always great to talk to you guys. Um, so let's move on to the next uh, step and talk about, um, I've seen, you know, myself, you know, when I'm growing up uh, as an, um, a professional, right? There are a lot of challenges uh, that we have uh, faced, but especially, you know, uh, being a, a, a woman, I would like to know that, you know, what are the, some of the challenges that you have faced as a woman in the uh, tech industry? So I'll start uh, with Anubama. Yeah, sure, Sudhir. Like uh, being a woman, it's uh, I feel that is a proud moment being a woman. But sometimes, like it introduces a lot of challenges, especially if you're in the IT industry. So I was born and brought up back in India. So I can easily say, like in India, like the boys get a special treatment when comparison to the girls. And I was so lucky because my dad was uh, he gave equal importance whether it comes to education or career between myself and my brothers. But of course, I had some challenges when I got into the professional roles, like uh, getting into an IT job where you could see only a little amount of fellow female developers to start with because I started my career as a developer and hardcore technical person. And it was really uh, intimidating to a certain extent, like you go for meetings and uh, pretty much you have got full of men in a meeting room and me being the only woman there uh, trying to represent uh, uh, my solutions and uh, whether things will always go in my mind, like uh, whether they will treat my solutions and whether they will listen to what I'm saying. So that was always been a challenging moment for me, like initially when I started my career. What about you, Leela? Uh, what are the, some of the challenges that you have faced in this industry? Oh, same uh, kind of, uh, I have the same thing as uh, Anupam mentioned. I'm also born in Iran and I work there. Uh, so in um, in uh, most of the work space that I'm working, I think that uh, I got lots of challenges to uh, kind of talk and bring my idea. Most of the time, not take seriously. So that was a challenge, and I have. And even in uh, some conferences, I found myself really just one or two speakers there, and that's become kind of the a bit challenging. So uh, is uh, always face that and. Uh, so mm -hmm. the, that was few women that actually I can learn from them and get motivated. So that was always a big challenge. Now you talk about your, some of your challenges. Uh, I just want to uh, understand, you know, how actually some of the challenges that you have faced uh, during your career or maybe before your career, 
how you actually overcome those uh, challenges uh, what are what are those uh, steps that you have taken you know to overcome those challenges or maybe you turn around those challenges into the opportunity so anubama you want to uh, start with that yeah sure so there like um, yes of course that uh, being a woman itself it's a brings a lot of challenge and also like being in it industry again additional challenges but as you mentioned like uh, challenges always i look it as opportunities and also like uh, you want to feel like you have achieved something in life right so i used to take all these challenges and uh, use that as an opportunities to motivate myself and say like okay i can move on like what at the most is going to happen it just i need to spend that extra effort in terms of putting myself in front of uh, sometimes in front of men and also prove uh, my or take my point across so yes uh, i think uh, it's the journey that's what i thoroughly enjoyed because i always look for challenges and that's how i have been brought up uh, from my childhood days so for me yes initially it was a bit uh, difficult but then i turned around and said like okay if i want to achieve something great in my life i have to start uh, facing these challenges and keep moving on rather than just uh, hiding back yeah i think that's a beautiful uh, thought that you have it's always a learning uh, it's not a you know when you have an, a challenge you're not going to stop it's it's always a um uh, learning and keep moving uh wonderful uh what about you uh lila oh same actually so the challenges actually helped me to go to actually another steps is like a door that open to me and most of the time for example if uh, some uh, new things uh, proposed by customers or by some conference organizer about teaching a specific course that's actually that was my motivation to go through that and uh, actually uh, start a new journey for me so i'm a, i'm i could i could say that i'm afraid of that at the start i get stress i uh-huh. couldn't say that i'm not a stress but i always try to find a way to make it as an opportunity and do it and sometimes is kind of uh, create a new path for me so i always welcome that and uh, so i only start from the very simple so when i want to face a challenge i try to find the people that they are i know that they can help me so i get some advice from mm-hmm. them and also so yeah so i, I really love challenges is a bit scary but it's worth it i love that they bring it on uh, attitude this is really cool this is really cool um uh, so let me ask you this i mean uh, i'm sure you have a lot of proud moment for you but one of the proudest moment you know that you still remember uh, if you can share some thoughts on that uh, anupama what that could be for you uh, so there like for me uh, i used to attend a lot of local user groups in wellington and because being in the it industry for 19 plus years uh, you, like you would have gone through to understand your local community a bit but I never uh, spoke in any of my local user groups at all until like in the last 5 uh, to 6 years and I was surprised uh, um because every time I think like okay speaking is always for geeks and I never considered myself as a geek or something was I was holding behind saying oh have I got anything that I can share with the community or not but I was motivated to speak at a local user group and uh, I was thoroughly excited around the feedback I got after the talk and then i realized oh, okay there is some sort of potential in me where there are people uh, who are also interested to understand about the day to day problems that you f- face in your workplace and share that uh, learnings with them so that is one of the proud moment the another interesting proud moment for me is organizing my sequel saturday event in wellington so i never been an organizer for any events as i said like it took me time even to become a speaker to start with Uh, I used to go for SQL Saturday events in Auckland, which is hosted by Leila, and also um, uh, the one in Christchurch hosted by Hamish. And I then I then came back after speaking at those events and said, like, okay, why are we not having one in Wellington? And the last one we had was back in 2012. So it's been six years. Uh, we didn't. We never had any event uh, around SQL Saturday. So I decided, like, okay, I'm going to go and give a try. at the most what is going to happen if i fail then probably it's a learning right so it's nothing wrong in giving a try so whether you win or lose doesn't matter let us go ahead and give a try uh, you won't believe it was my proudest moment and uh, i it the thought that came to me i started organizing it i collected the volunteers to assist with me for the event 
and the proudest moment was towards the end of the day when the whole event was successful the amount of uh, love and feedback i got from the community i still could remember that and that is going to be my proudest moment something i felt like i added and contributed for my community cool and i like the idea and i like the thought process of you know uh, don't think about success and failure just do your best and even if you don't uh, succeed you will have your learning from your failure so that you can apply those learning uh, that's cool uh, what about you little what uh, the proudest moment for you oh thank you i love that story i know so that was really exciting uh, for me actually i'm a, i'm a person that write blog posts and youtube uh, creating youtube channel yep. about microsoft products so uh, and i share it in different social media and once i figure out that i get a really good feedbacks from one of the top top managers in the microsoft and james phillips and i i found out, oh my god that's nice. really good and also i get some comments from the people who creating these tools and as i was invited to mm-hmm. the private session with them to provide feedback so i i feel really good i feel that's my uh, blog post can impact on people and uh, yeah so that's another one and also uh, kind of working uh, with a uh, working with some other uh, people that i really wish to work with them and know them and they are really famous in this area was one of the greatest of get familiar with a really good speakers and organizer in different conferences and i was invited to speak there or ask me to write the book and things was really a proud moment for me cool and i think that's a very good idea if you learn something go ahead and blog about it let the people uh, you know learn from your experiences and getting an appreciation from uh, from the masters of that product it, it's really awesome that's pretty cool now i think everybody knows uh, in new zealand that you both work in technologies in day in day out um, but one of the things we might be interested in is how each one of you get into the technologies is that something you dream about uh, since your childhood or uh, it just happened so anubama what's your thoughts on that uh, do you want me to say the truth here uh, it's a mere accident yes ah okay Yeah it is a, uh, really a mere accident because I was a science student and uh, I hate sitting in front of uh, my computer for the whole day that's not the job I initially dreamed uh, when I was uh, doing my studies and I the way I got interested in computers is I grew up with my brothers so I have two brothers and uh, both were interested in computers and they used to talk a lot about computers and I wasn't able to understand uh, what they were talking about So that is what initially triggered uh, something in me saying oh okay nothing wrong in learning about computers it's not i'm not going to take it as a profession so that's how i started my inter- my interest in computers actually started and uh, then uh, once i finished my graduation so i had uh, two ways like one i can pursue my career with uh, my science or pursue my career with uh, computer science uh, you won't believe like i got a good opportunity to pursue my career in uh, computer science and in it and then once i got the opportunity i took my career seriously because i knew like this is what my future is going to be and i started investing uh, my time in computer science in learning basically as you know in this um, particular uh, area like you need to keep learning so you can, you never can stop learning so that came uh, right from my first uh, job itself so still i'm doing learning on a daily basis to be honest So I think uh, it's a mere accident but I'm thoroughly enjoying the moment uh, currently because uh, I love learning and uh, this particular um, industry is giving me the opportunity where I can keep learning and also use my learning in delivering value for my customers. Right and if that accident didn't happen what you would be then a scientist or researcher or maybe something else? Yeah more a researcher because uh, I love doing research. and uh, so i would have gone in that space and that's why when artificial intelligence was introduced and there is a lot of adoption happening in that space i'm really more keen into getting into that uh, space uh, one uh, another thing also like i thoroughly enjoy is uh, when i talk to my clients always they share about like a lot of problems they say like anupama do you have a solution for this problem and sometimes these problems when i hear about them i may not have the right technology and what i noticed is uh, sometimes when i come back and when a new technology gets released and uh, some what goes in my mind is all these problems i used to hear from my clients 
and i'll say okay this client had this problem let me apply this technology and uh, go back and showcase it to them how this new technology can solve the problem for them and to be honest with it like uh, some of the problems i have heard historically has been still problems until the technology breakthrough has come to solve it yeah absolutely absolutely i totally agree with that um uh, how about you lila how did you get into the uh, technology oh actually uh, in uh, back to in iran actually for the university we need to attend a specific exam to enroll universities and uh, after you got your score you able to choose your major i remember that time i don't have any idea and i see okay i can accept in computer science so yeah let's go and uh, so we start with lots of mathematics but suddenly we got some course on software engineering and algorithm and i found myself mm-hmm. really good on understanding on algorithm and writing them so we have some genetic algorithm neural network and i got so interested to them and i was quite good i get a really good score from a very uh, actually uh, from a, uh, from a teacher that he's not really good on the actually giving the score to students so i felt that okay maybe this is the things that i really like and also in the same time i'm start to explore some of the software myself so i found okay i'm good in programming and i love to search and work with a unknown software that no one else knows about that so that's actually the starting kind of starting point for myself i'm start to learn myself uh, from dot net application creating application in about 2004 2003 2004 and after that graduate I start to learn SQL Server myself and now it's actually in 2014 as a self learner again I will start to learn about algorithms in R and AI and that's actually still continuing as Anu mentioned it's not a, uh, there is no stop for that always there is new thing and always there is new uh, actual new new algorithm so everything is kind of the right. I can look at it as a new algorithm that you need to discover now we are uh, you know you guys are working technologies and day in day out so let me just uh, switch gears and let me just uh, talk about uh, to anupama is what advice you know do you have for the aspiring females who wants to you know come into the tech space or maybe already there in the tech space yeah i think uh, keep your passion and growing so always be passionate because uh, sometimes as a woman like uh, you are not just uh, thinking about working right you have to think about house you have to think about family other responsibilities and sometimes that can put you off in saying like okay do i need to take a pause in my career or start focusing on other things but i would say like uh, yes as a woman uh, one of the advantage we have got is around multitasking so be passionate don't give up uh, uh, your career aspirations like even if you have to take a temporary pause but come back and uh, come back into the uh, technology space again into the workforce again and there is a lot of support currently we have got in the community around uh, uh, getting women back into the workforce even after a pause or something so i would say like uh, get motivated be passionate and uh, just uh, i'll encourage all the women to say like uh, technology is not that complex and there is a lot of uh, people to support uh, both men as well as women everyone is there to uh, empower more women getting into the industry so just keep pa- keep your passion up be motivated and uh, yeah never give up cool and totally agree your self fear is more problematic rather than the technology itself uh, and i've seen you know the lot of work that you guys are doing uh, inspiring uh, women in the technologies and i've been there in couple of meetups where and from my i've seen you uh, you know talking to the uh, female candidates and mentoring them and guiding them you know how they can become a successful in in the technology area or maybe otherwise uh, so that that's really cool yeah just one more point to add is like uh, i am here talking uh, to you so that like uh, i was i started my career without even knowing how to turn on a computer so that explains right like if you have the passion yeah if you have the passion you can start from the state where you don't even know how to turn on a computer now you can be a consultant in the it industry so i think that is the type of lesson i want to share with the other women here to say like uh, yeah it's it, there is always going to be challenges it's all about like uh, have a real ambition and move towards it totally i think it's it's a very good uh, um, word from your side anupama i mean uh, and you're really an inspiration for them if a person who doesn't know how to switch on the computer can become a consultant can become a well known uh, face in in the technologies in the communities 
then why can't you? It's just your fear. Just you know, pass it on and then have a look around it. Uh, that's yeah. That's that's really cool. I like it. I like it. Um, how about you, Lila? What what's your advice for the aspiring females uh, who are working in this technology space, or maybe they're who are looking forward to you know to uh, join back or joining in uh, and start a career in the space? Oh sure. So uh, I always recommend people to consider themselves in a uh, actually in a space that there is no pressure on them, and see what really like. With, despite just don't consider about the job market or about the uh, how's the salary going and what is popular. Mm -hmm. What they really like, and based on that, if there is in a space of technology, so don't be afraid. They can be successful in any way. I remember in the first of my career. I wasn't a really good programmer. I remember I got some uh, actually bad feedback from my manager in 2002, 2003. Uh, but it's never, mm -hmm. mot uh, yeah, I, I get upset. It's normal. People get upset. But it actually sure. didn't discourage me from moving. And uh, that's the thing. So uh, always uh, don't consider the bad feedbacks or the failure that you got in your career as a sign that you need to stop. No, it actually is a sign that you maybe need to review, get some lessons, and again, continue. So that's it first thing I can mention to them and uh, don't uh, wait till other people come so you just start uh, your career just start to get motivated yourself and what you do and also be in touch with the uh, people who are doing the same as you so it's really important to be gather with the people who motivate you and help you go through that steps. I think that's a really, so it's a good community and also uh, finding the passion that you have. So um, I always love that to kind of uh, share with other people because I do mentoring some of the people in the career mm -hmm. or in the speaking. And I always tell them that don't afraid any time you feel you fail, just continue and uh, you will be success. So, and you will look back and you see, yeah, that's a way that I've come and I'm, I'm feel really good now so i think that's that's my advice so never give up yeah and i've seen this attitude uh you know whenever i talk to you whenever i've seen you in the conferences or in the meetups uh, you know uh, your attitude of show must go on is really inspiring i'm sure for me and for others as well who listen to you lila and that's 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 really great uh, so yeah and keep inspiring people you know Keep mentoring people, uh, and I, I know that Anupama is also, uh, uh, you know, inspiring uh, uh, people uh, to be in a tech space. And I would say, you know, in technology, it's not only about you need to learn technologies and you know do something to make your career. But there are other jobs as well within the technology space, you know, where you can actually uh, uh, look forward to, right? So you have these role models available. You can connect with them and then you know get some thoughts about it. Cool. Uh, I think that's all we have for today. Thanks, Sadir. Thank you, Sadir. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch the other episode of the series by clicking on the video thumbnail you see here. You can also sign up for the Microsoft.Source newsletter to receive a regular digest of the technical content and as well as exclusive information about the Microsoft events where we are participating. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. We we'll love to hear what you think, so drop your comments below and let us know what content around diversity in the developer community are interested and we will bring more of your favorite content to you. That's our promise. Thank you.